Amen. Look, here is water. Here, here is our water of life. Hallelujah. Our gathering him is awake, my heart will cleanse.
shall be satisfied. Kneel us and we shall be whole. Make us one with you, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, both now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. I would invite any children that want to come forward. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Pastor. How you guys doing? <laughs> Excellent. So today is an important day. Do you know what this Sunday is? Okay, well, yes. Yes, but it's a very specific one. I want you guys to come here. Okay? And I want you to look up there. You see those two stained glass windows? What do you see? Yeah. And they're done like that. They look almost exactly the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And today is what we call Good Shepherd Sunday. Jesus talks about himself being a shepherd, and we being sheep a lot. And what does a shepherd do for sheep? Yeah, he looks at And that's the thing. Because right there we have Jesus as the good shepherd. He's looking after the sheep, he's taking care of them, he's making sure they're doing good. And the other one reminds us that he also takes care of us. Because we're his sheep. And so today we're going to be remembered that no matter what, through the ups and downs, we remember what God does for us and who God is. Because sometimes we can forget, sometimes we can lose sight. But God is our good shepherd through Jesus Christ. And he will look after us no matter what. How are you doing, Good. 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 All right, so let's pray, guys. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for being our good shepherd. Amen. Good job, gentlemen. Let's continue with the readings. Thanks be to God. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and 
Thanks be to God. I'm going to start to rise to God. Yes. 
over and over again. That is the reality of character. I can usually smell a pastor 15 feet away. You know what I mean? When they start saying things like, well, it is a pleasure to see you today. Yep, there's a pastor. <laughs> and nothing is quite as joyous as sitting assembly when all the pastors are trying to out pastor each other. <laughs> Hands in pockets, rocking back. Well, no. Right? And that is the character of what it is. And today what the text is trying to do in this Easter season is ground us and guide us in what the character of God is. And it is this lens of a good shepherd who does something, who is entrusted with sheep, who is entrusted with lives, who is entrusted with caring for these things from birth to death to steward to guard and to care for. And in this passage, it goes beyond that. It is creating this distinction between what is the good shepherd and what's the hired man. Yeah, we're going to hire these guys. But they have no vested interest in these sheep. As soon as the temperature turns up a little bit, they turn tail and run. When the wolf comes, the higher hand is nowhere to be found. Am I right? They can look like a shepherd, but they don't act it when it's necessary and true. They stay But the good shepherd does what? He stays. He's there. He faces it. And if push comes to shove, he lays down his life. And beyond that, he's willing to lay it down and he's willing to take it up again. Why? To prove a point? To show how great he is? Or simply to care for the sheep? The good shepherd is the image and the character of God who puts one thing first. People, what does God care about? People. Am I right? And nowhere does it say the good shepherd lays down his life to the crowd, right? Because the crowd is the most important thing. Because you can't be a shepherd without a crowd, right? No. Does it say the good shepherd lays down his life for that wonderful little shepherd's crook that he has? That is the most important thing, that if he doesn't got his magic stick, obviously he can't be a shepherd. <coughs> what does a shepherd mean? Sheep. This is the character of God. That from the very beginning and the very get-go, God's primary concern has been his people. His actions and his characters reveal over and over again that the love of God is poured out for his people. Big, small, anywhere in between. And that is the important lesson for us as Christians. God cares for us, right? But the shepherd calls us to see what we are to be because of him. I mean, look at that first John lesson. I mean, this might be the hyperbole, or you can actually look at it. But John talks about the nature of the good shepherd, and how it is through love that he shows us, and that it is us that should also lay down our lives. Because what does God care about? People. And that should always be, then, the body of Christ's chief concern. Brothers and sisters in Christ, as I get older, I believe that in some ways that call is so important yet so difficult. Because what does the world tell us is the most important thing? What would the good CEO tell us? Profit is the sign of the good CEO, am I right? The stockholders, that's the one the good CEO cares about, am I right? But what does the good shepherd care about? We are all in the same thing, that difficult but yet indispensable mission to care for a world in need. That is both what he does for us and calls us to do. His hands, his feet, and his love in a world where people need love. And that is the hard task we are called to. How can we put people first? Whether we agree or disagree. Whether we like it or don't like it, whether we are the same or not, 
because he reminds us he's got sheep that don't belong to that fold. So he'll bring them in. Because he's not happy, so he's got them. And that is the joy of this text. Because he makes sure that he cares for those in need. So we can go to him. He can come to us. We can live this love in a world. Because over and over again, what will heal these wounds? What will mend this imperfection? The good shepherd. For this Easter season always is about that he gave what is necessary to heal us, to bind us, and make us whole. His very body and mind. And so rejoice that the good shepherd will feed us again, that the good shepherd will guide us, and the good shepherd will call us once again to show love in a world in Amen.
Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs and the angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name.
Please. And now in the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in grace. Amen. Let us pray. Shepherd of God, you have prepared a table before us and nourished us with your love. Send us forth from this banquet to proclaim your goodness and share the abundant mercy of Jesus. Redeem him and pray. Amen. Amen. Receive the blessing. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you all now and forever. Amen. Our sending him for this morning is 767. Lord, take my hand. Thanks be to God.